Hi everyone, welcome back to another lesson. We're talking about herbal medications you should avoid if you're taking metformin. So we're going to talk about six different herbal medications that should be avoided if you're taking metformin and other anti-diabetic medication. So let's first talk about what metformin is. Metformin is a medication used to lower or reduce blood glucose levels. It's used to treat type 2 diabetes and also used to treat other conditions like polycystic ovary syndrome as well. It lowers blood glucose levels by several mechanisms. One is that it inhibits gluconeogenesis in the liver, which is the production of glucose from non-glucose substrates. It also inhibits glucose uptake from the gastrointestinal system, and it also increases insulin sensitivity at the level of the insulin receptor. Now, metformin can cause many different side effects. Most of them are going to be gastrointestinal side effects like nausea and diarrhea, but it can cause other side effects like hypoglycemia, which is a low blood glucose level. Hypoglycemia is going to be an uncommon side effect, but it's more likely to occur in certain states or conditions like fasting or dehydration or excessive exercise. But we do see that there can be interaction with other medications like certain herbal medications that can actually increase the risk of having hypoglycemia, which we're going to talk about as we go through this lesson. So the first herbal medication that should be avoided if you're taking metformin is bitter melon. Now, bitter melon has no direct pharmacological interactions with metformin. Like the other herbal medications in this lesson, they don't have direct pharmacological interactions, but they have effects on glucose uptake and utilization. And because metformin also acts on glucose uptake and utilization, these can both combine to cause issues. So bitter melon contains certain compounds that inhibits the absorption of glucose from the gastrointestinal system. So it acts similarly to metformin, and it also promotes glucose uptake into skeletal muscle. So it not only suppresses the uptake of glucose from the gastrointestinal system, but it also increases the utilization in the skeletal muscle. And it has been reported in some cases to cause significant side effects, including hypoglycemia and hypoglycemic coma. So bitter melon should be something to be avoided with anti-diabetic medications like metformin, and it should be avoided with other medications that reduce glucose levels like insulin and sulfonylurea medications. Another herbal medication that should be avoided if we're taking metformin is elderberry. So elderberry contains bioactive compounds that have important properties. It's been demonstrated in animal studies, at least, to lower blood glucose levels and improve insulin sensitivity. And it appears to increase peripheral tissue utilization of glucose, so it's going to improve the uptake of glucose into skeletal muscle and other tissues. And it also seems to promote insulin secretion as well. So again, combining this with metformin can increase our risk for having hypoglycemia. And we should also avoid the use of gymnema as well. So gymnema has also been shown to have hypoglycemic effects via gymnemic acid. It's been demonstrated to improve A1C levels, body weight, and insulin sensitivity. And it also appears to reduce the rate of absorption of glucose from the gastrointestinal system, so a similar effect as metformin. And it also has an interesting effect as well if it's eaten with other sweet foods or beverages. It seems to reduce the sweet taste so the gymnemic acid actually binds to the sweet taste receptors, preventing glucose and other sweet compounds to bind to those sweet taste receptors. So when individuals actually eat sweet foods or beverages, they don't have a full sweet taste because of the inhibitory effect of gymnemic acid on those taste receptors. So again, an interesting effect to make note of. And American ginseng can also reduce glucose levels as well. So there is evidence of ginseng-induced increases in insulin production. So it seems to stimulate insulin production. It may also promote the health of pancreatic beta cells. So it has been shown to perhaps reduce the death of pancreatic beta cells. And it's been demonstrated to reduce blood glucose levels in type 2 diabetic patients. And then we can also see juniper as well being something that can also lead to significantly lower levels of glucose. So consumption of juniper berries, especially a decoction of juniper berries, has been demonstrated to induce hypoglycemia in a healthy rat model. The hypoglycemic effect may be due to improved utilization in the peripheral tissues. Again, it seems to increase the uptake in peripheral tissues like skeletal muscle. And it may also improve pancreatic health. So if there has been some mild damage to the pancreas, say for instance in a early stage of type 2 diabetes, a juniper berry decoction may actually improve pancreatic health. And it also seems to aid or improve other lipid markers like LDL and HDL as well. And then we can also see issues with devil's claw. If we're using devil's claw, this can also interact with metformin. Devil's claw has been noted to have multiple effects. It seems to reduce stomach acidity. 
It may have certain anti-inflammatory properties, and it also appears to reduce blood glucose levels as well. And there are many prescription medications and foods and beverages that can interact with metformin. Please check my lesson on that topic, and also please check my lesson on the side effects of metformin. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.